the Ross ice shelf is freezing, not melting. In 2017, a rather strange discovery was made in regard to the Ross ice shelf, the largest shelf of ice in Antarctica. This ice shelf, which has some points which reach an astonishing 10,000 feet thick, is one of many shelves which contain, restrain and generally hold back the ice of West Antarctica. It is estimated that if the Ross ice shelf does one day collapse, then the global sea level has the capability of rising by 10 feet. In November of 2017, a team of scientists from New Zealand investigated the Great Ross Ice Shelf using a hot water drill to create a tunnel-like gap for a thermometer and camera to go underneath the surface level. This technique gives us a snapshot of the environment below surface level, cluing scientists in as to the history of this ginormous shelf, as well as giving us more information as to what exactly it is doing now and the possible future happenings. With thoughts focused on global warming, this research team anticipated finding melting ice, though this is not the conclusion that the temperature and currents indicated. Contrary to expectations, the water beneath the Ross Ice Shelf seemed to be freezing and crystallizing, not melting. Christina Holb, a glaciologist from the University of Otago in New Zealand, was a co-leader on the project and summed up the strangeness of this discovery in four simple words when talking to National Geographic. It blew our minds. Plans to monitor the future of the Ross Ice Shelf have already been implemented, with the 2017 research team leaving instruments behind in order to measure currents and temperatures within the hole over the following years. The freezing of the ice shelf seems promising, suggesting it is plenty stable, at least for the time being. Scientists are also optimistic that the findings from this study will let us see if there have been any changes or melting that has happened in the past, as a direct result of climate shifts. Despite the overwhelmingly positive findings of this particular study, the climate crisis remains a prevalent and concerning threat to our planet, and one that is worsening at an accelerated and rapidly increasing pace. Global warming and the melting of ice caps is an issue we continue to face, with NASA confirming that we are losing ice in Antarctica at a quicker pace with each passing year. Whilst we are yet to determine exactly why we are seemingly so lucky with the peculiar freezing of the Ross Ice Shelf, it certainly is a positive sign that we are not facing the looming threat of the ice shelf collapsing anytime soon. Scientists grew chickens with dinosaur legs to prove how evolution works. Sometimes science experiments can border on the downright strange. As was certainly the case with a series of experiments carried out by scientists in Chile seeking to understand elements of the evolutionary process that gave us none other than the very birds that fill our skies today. Many people believe that when the mysterious asteroid that caused the mass extinction of the dinosaurs landed on Earth, all the dinosaurs disappeared for good. However, we now know that some of these prehistoric creatures survived and evolved into birds. In an attempt to demonstrate the path that such an impressive leap could have taken, researchers genetically modified chickens so that they developed strange tubular fibulas on their legs. These bones were commonly found in such avian dino as the Archaeopteryx, who had a second tibial bone next to the hollow fibula. Evolutionary researchers can follow the path of these two bones through the intervening millennium. As the fibula shortened, thinned and developed more splinter-like ends, while the tibia sharpened and shortened so much that it no longer reached the ankle. Although modern bird embryos still show early signs of developing the proportionately longer tibular fibula, these bones ultimately end up with the short, thin, splinter-like bones that are typical of birds today. So, why would researchers be interested in giving chickens these dinosaur legs? Essentially, the team hoped to be able to better understand what biological processes drove the change from dinosaur legs to modern bird legs throughout the course of evolution. Because bird embryos possess legs that still resemble those of their ancient dino ancestors, researchers were able to isolate and subsequently inhibit the IHH gene, which allowed the experimental chickens to continue to develop the longer legs promised in their embryos. And what they observed as the legs continued to grow was interesting. 
Normally, when bones grow, their shafts reach full size first and the ends continue to develop and lengthen. However, the fibula of modern birds and chickens stops at the ends first, meaning that something, likely the calcaneal bone, at the distal end of the fibula is actively preventing it from reaching dinosaur-like lengths. Turning off the IHH gene removed this blockage, allowing the ends of the bone to continue to grow in order to reach Archaeopteryx lengths. Although these Frankenstein dinosaur chickens were not viable and were not able to hatch, the seemingly strange experiment succeeded in its goal of understanding the biological processes that fueled the evolutionary changes that shortened the legs of birds over time. Alexander Vargas, a member of the research team, explained the goal of the project as focused on single traits to test specific hypotheses. Not only do we know a great deal about bird development, but also about the dinosaur bird transition, which is well documented by the fossil record. This leads naturally to hypotheses on the evolution of development that can be explored in the lab. With separate experiments creating chickens with such dinosaur features as feet and beaks, it may only be a matter of time before science is able to unravel evolution so much that they are left with tiny chicken-like dinosaurs. Artificial intelligence has found an unknown ghost's ancestor. Figuring out the complex evolutionary past of our species is a momentous undertaking, with new discoveries and findings coming along every so often that derail our understanding and force us to reconsider what we thought we knew. A study initially conducted back in the February of 2019 uncovered a possible hybrid ancestor of modern humans that left scientists somewhat stumped. We don't have information on who she was exactly, but she has certainly helped drive our scientific understanding forward significantly in the past few years. Remains of a teenaged girl who lived more than 50,000 years ago has a remarkable uniqueness to her. These differences led scientists to interpret that she is some form of hybrid ancestor living as part of our prehistory as humans. Despite this girl being found as part of a 2019 study, it was not until late 2021 that researchers managed to find a greater number of remains aligning with this girl. We have only recently found more hybrid ancestors like her. The 2019 study aimed to conduct an analysis on the confusing and convoluted topic of our human prehistory. The team used artificial intelligence to identify ancestor species we were yet to discover or identify that we believe modern humans had come into contact with all those centuries ago. Evolutionary biologist Jean Bertrand Petit from the Universitat Pompeu Fabra in Spain explained that 80,000 years ago, the out of Africa occurred. This was when part of the human population, which did already host modern humans, moved out of Africa and instead migrated to other continents. This travel and separation facilitated the rise and growth of the current populations as we know them today. During the out of Africa, the modern humans began to move towards Eurasia and would procreate with the ancient and extinct hominids they encountered. Prior to this research, we believed these partners to be Neanderthals and Denisovans, with us only finding out about Denisovans in 2010. Now, however, there seems to be evidence of another prehistoric mating partner seemingly kept hidden within the DNA of those within Europe and Asia. The study was able to utilize deep learning algorithms, a program that means an intricate and large amount of data covering the ancient and modern human genetic code can be sorted through. It was the statistical technique known as the Bayesian inference that revealed the evidence of this third elusive influence, what has been called the third introgression. This third introgression is what has been left behind of the so-called ghost archaic population we now know modern humans mated with on their way out of Africa. In their paper, the researchers wrote, this population is either related to the Neanderthal Denisova clade or diverged early from the Denisova lineage. They did later also suggest the possibility of this third population being the result of mating between the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. It has been noted, however, that even this explanation leaves some abnormalities unaccounted for. The use of artificial intelligence in this field is a new groundbreaking technique in uncovering human ancestry. 
It's incredible to think how the most modern advancements can reveal such ancient history. We do need to conduct further research before any definitive conclusions can be made, though even without considering the results and theories, the role of this technology remains revolutionary. Caribbean Ocean Whistle Many eerie sounds originate underwater. A lot of times, these sounds induce fear and paranoia. The dark, endless ocean can make one feel stranded and alone. But when we add a mysterious noise, one that seems to have no origin, it is no wonder we become uneasy. Thankfully, even though this first noise comes from a tropical paradise, if it makes its way to your ears, you will remain unbothered. Originated in the Caribbean Ocean, there is a whistle that is both too deep for humans to hear, yet so strong it can be detected in space. While researching fluctuations in ocean mass, scientists from the University of Liverpool discovered anomalies in their measurements. A series of instruments were being used to measure pressure along the ocean's floor. These instruments sent back data suggesting consistent pressure throughout the seafloor in the tropics except for one instrument. This particular instrument was located in the Caribbean Ocean. After running computer models and analyzing data, the scientists discovered what is called a Rossby wave in the ocean's basin. As the ocean is flanked by South America, Central America, and the Caribbean islands, it creates a semi-enclosed basin, which is the perfect landmass for this wave to make its slow journey across the sea floor. For 120 days, a wave makes its way west across the ocean basin before disappearing out into the ocean. Another wave reappears on the west side of the basin, ready to make the 120-day journey again. As this wave interacts with the sea floor, a whistle-like sound is emitted. This sound is made in much the same way as a whistle we make through our lips. The vibrations in the air from our lips cause the high-pitched whistle we easily recognize. This ocean floor whistle, dubbed the Rossby whistle, is so low humans cannot hear it. To put it in perspective, it is 28 octaves lower than the lowest note on a piano. This A-flat note is easily detected from space because the oscillation caused by the wave disrupts Earth's gravity field just enough. While this whistle is naturally occurring and harmless to humans, scientists are excited by what we can learn from it. Since the Rossby wave enters the Gulf Stream once it leaves the Caribbean basin, scientists believe studying this whistle could give insights into Earth's entire climate system. Furthermore, since the oscillation that causes the whistle lasts 120 days, scientists also think they could predict sea level changes along the South American coast and better plan for storms and floods in that area. It is simply amazing that a single oscillation can give us so much information about our planet. It goes to show that even after millennia of study, Earth still has her secrets. Japan to drop world's largest turbine into the ocean to harvest energy Japan is planning to install the world's largest turbine in the ocean to harvest energy. This turbine will have the power to resist ocean currents and then convert the flow into incredible amounts of electricity. The prototype named Keiyu, was created by Ishikawa Jima Harima Heavy Industries, a Japanese engineering company that has been doing tests and experiments on the technology for over 10 years. In 2017, they united with the Industrial Technology Development Organization to realize their ambitious concepts. In February of 2022, the team was able to successfully complete a three-and-a-half-year test off the coast of Japan with Keiyu. Keiyu is 330 tons and 66 feet long. It can locate the best place to generate power from the current of the deep waters while it is anchored to the floor of the ocean by power cables. Of course, designing Keiyu was no easy task as the creators had to keep the chaos of the sea in mind in its design. The ocean's waves tend to be turbulent, so Keiyu has blades rotating in opposite directions to keep it as stable as possible. Up until now, Japan has relied on fossil fuel imports to generate the tremendous amount of power the company needs. After a highly publicized nuclear accident in 2011, public opinion on nuclear power turned negative, and there was more encouragement to develop renewable energy options. According to IHI's predictions, if the energy from the current is harvested by the turbine, it could create enough energy to power the entire country. 
However, attempts to pull out energy from the ocean have mostly failed. Some of the many hurdles this project will have to overcome are environmental restrictions, the high engineering costs and the accessibility of coastal areas. If IHI finds success with this project, it will no doubt be a game changer. Scientists are making incredible discoveries every day, and we can only imagine what will be found in the future. We've highlighted just a few of the most exciting findings from this year, from the possibility of creating an energy resource that can power an entire country, to creating a genome catalogue, to creating AI that can solve the economic unfairness that exists in the world. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.